What's going on guys? Thank you so much for coming back today. Uh, today I have a very special video planned for you guys. I was challenged by one of my favorite YouTube channels, 18 Games and Toys. Um, Adam and Aiden over there did a spectacular video with all their chases. Um, I'm so amazed by how many soda chases they have. It seems like every video they do, they definitely pull a soda chase. Um, but I'm going to show off some of my chases. I'm not going to show off all of them uh, just because I have to dig through some stuff. So I'm going to show off some of my favorite ones. And I'm going to open up a mystery box real fast from Stop, Pop, and Roll. Now, uh, if you joined us on our live, uh, let's see, it was November 24th. It was a Wednesday. Um, but me, Funko Pops, and Quest for Pops did a live. And I opened up a mystery box. I opened up two mystery boxes from Stop, Pop, Stop, Pop and Roll. And it was two sodas per box. Um, now, there was some other hits, too. There's two possible chances on this. You can either pull a pop. Um, or you can pull two sodas. So, on both boxes, I did have two sodas in each box. But I did pull, on the live, I did pull this guy right here, which is one of my favorites. It definitely goes right into my wife's set. But it is the Mad Hatter Chase. That one is absolutely incredible. Um, one of 800 on the Mad Hatter Chases. So, I did pull that one. And as soon as I pulled that, I uh, kind of went on there and ordered another box. Uh, just hopefully I can, because he does have some, the, uh, he has the Alice and he has the Queen of Hearts, uh, soda. I'm going to throw a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, uh, but he does have some pops on here. It was the Eddie Brock, the Pop and Tea combo. Um, he does have the Nerd Deadpool, the Halloween Stitch, Captain America, the Year of the Shield. He does have the Retro Series Stormtrooper and Alice, the Funko Shop exclusive. He has the Hunter Ron. And then it looks like Roman Reigns, an Amazon exclusive. And I'll show I'll show a picture of all the sodas. There's I did pull the Thor. I pulled what else did I get? Thor, Fearless Leader, and Egon, which I did give away Egon. But um, so I have this box here, and the other one felt predominantly like two sodas in here. This does not feel like two sodas. It kind of feels like um, like a Funko Pop. But I'm not 100% sure because, I mean, it does have some weight to it. So, I'm going to go and bust this guy open. I'm going to show off my chases and we'll end the video. Um, but, if you did like today's video, the best way to support the channel is hitting that like button. If you're not a subscriber, if it's down here and it's red, turn it to gray. And then, out beside that, hit that little bell notification and select all. And then YouTube will notify you whenever I upload a new video. But, um, you know, also too, really quickly too. Any pops that I open on the channel that doesn't fit the collection, uh, they go up for sale up on my whatnot. Direct link will be down below as well. Just go follow me over there. And that's it. That's enough of me talking today. Let's go and open this box so that we can see what's inside of it. Um, okay, now that I have it, it is, two, it is two sodas. So, okay, so we do have two sodas inside. They're just packaged really, really well with they're not rolling around. Okay, so first soda out, if I can get it out of here. By the way, I did choose box number 30 on this one. Yeah, these are packaged very well. So first soda out, we do have, oh God, El Farismo, which is like the Hulk. Uh, <laughs> nothing against these, I just, these do not fit my collection. Um, I don't even know what the, uh, what the chase looks like on this one. Uh, let me pull up the Funko app. I know these are not going for anything at all. Okay, so the chase is metallic. It is going for 55 bucks. So the common is worth 8 Now on this box, I spent a total of $20 total. So uh, not a huge loss if I do lose. Alright, so we're looking for the metallic. I'm probably just going to look. I know I'm not going to keep this one, so I'm just going to look at the Pog. And, um, I pulled the Chase. So there is a Chase. One of 2,500. I guess I'll open it now and see what it looks like. The Metallic. The odds of me pulling the Chase on that, that will be the one that I pull. Alright, 
well, there it is. There is the metallic. There he is. The one soda chase that I pulled. Uh, El Ferismo. Or Ferismo. I don't know how you pr actually pronounce it, but um, that's pretty funny. Not mad about it. So I spent 20. I've already got back 55. So I've already paid for the box. Double. So what's the last one I have? Oh, okay. Another Thor. Oh, man. So this Thor, I know this one from looking on the live, that the uh, chase is Blacklight. That would be something if I pulled two chases on the same mystery boxes. Wow. And for anyone who takes count, like the soda, the plastic is like barely, op barely over the can. Some people have different theories that if the... Uh, the shrink wrap goes over, then it's a chase. Also, too, you gotta be very careful because it does have the sticker, which is also on the plastic. So I gotta be careful pulling that off. I'll put it back on the can later on. All right, so the chase on this one is black bite. That would be freaking sick if I pull that chase because I do want that chase. That is a pretty cool one. Um, all right, I'm gonna try not to look at it best I can. I'm gonna do it underneath the table. Oh, man, give me that chase. Come on. Oh, it is the common. Okay, so we do have the common Thor. Okay, so this may go for sale up on my whatnot. I don't know for sure. Uh, we'll see what, as it goes. Let me go and get the sticker off here, though. All right, so with the chase and then the common Thor, we got back $67 on a $20 mystery box. Uh, might have to order another one. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So far, I've had pretty good luck with it. But enough about that. Let's get on with the chases. Um, I do just have several. Um, let's see. I have I have six Funko Pops and I have four sodas. So we'll talk about we'll talk about them random. So one of my the soda chases seem to always like be my one of my favorites. But this one here is the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. This is from Ghostbusters, obviously. But this is. Um, I ordered one soda on this, and I got the chase on it. And so I kind of haven't ordered any more Stay Puff. But I do still need the common of, of Stay Puff. So I have that one. Another one and done that I ordered was the John Wick. forgot what kind of piece count he is. But again, I ordered one John Wick, got the John Wick chase. So I would say my luck varies from sodas. So... Sometimes I have good luck, and then I go through streaks of, like, really bad luck. Um, this next one I ordered, um, this is from Patrick over Papa Lot Shop. Now, he sold this on a live, on an Instagram live. If you've not checked out his live sales, um, sometimes randomly just throws in, like, deals he can't even pass up. He sold this Chili Willy Chase, look at that, for five bucks. Five bucks on an auction, and I could not type it fast enough. Alright, but then the last Chase soda that, that I'm going to show off today. I do have several more. Some are in my wife's room, her wife, my wife's nerd room. But this one is the Joe Bazooka. I did just buy two of these. And I had one comment and one Chase. So, super excited about that. I did want that one pretty well as well. Alright, so that is the sodas that I'm showing off. Uh, let me start with the Funko Pops. Now these are, uh, man, these are probably my top six Chases that I have. I do have some Stranger Things. Now, I have a whole shelf right here of just Stranger Things. Um, and they are like three rows deep. And honestly, I don't know where some of the chases... The, some of the chases are buried back there. So, I don't really want to pull everything out and show you guys. Uh, maybe in a, in a later video, I might. But, let's talk about these. So, the very first chase that I ever got, um, I, did not per I did not find it. So... My wife actually got me this chase for Christmas, and it's kind of funny that later on I uh, I did I did this character on a uh, video once. But uh, this is the Buddy the Elf chase. As you can see there, um, he does have the Jack and Box in his hand. It that was the very first chase that I ever had in my collection was Buddy the Elf. But there he is. Love that. All right, let's see here. Um, I did purchase this one from Chalice, but this did come with the Bill Murray. It was the Common and the Chase bundle package. I do have this one from Zombieland. I do have that one. And, let's see. Another one that I did, 
a lot of these I have not found out in the wild. Um, it's not really a big Funko base around me, so um, I've not been able to find a lot of chases in the wild. Walmart, uh, Books a Million, GameStop. That's really the only places that really sell pops around me. So, um, yeah. So the chase, find a chase. I just feel like we don't really get them too lot. Um, I have found three chases in one t in one day at Books a Million. And I think it's the day that they set everything out. So um, I did find three there. Um, I bought two of them and, and sent them off to friends. So, uh, but this one I did buy, I think off eBay. This is Georgie from the movie It. Now, this is actually a really cool one. As you can see in there, his arm is severed. Man, this is such a great chase. Such a great chase to go into my horror set that I have. Kind of starting right behind me. It's on the shelf that I'm blocking. You can kind of see it. All right. Let's see here. This one, I did do Chase Roulette. It's my second video I ever put on YouTube. Uh, I bought 10 of the 1989 Jokers. And got nine common jokers and pulled one chase. So I did get one chase out of it. Um, but this one was so great. It is the 1989 Joker uh, with the paint peeling off his face. Such a great pop. Uh, so happy to add this one to my set. Um, and it's in mint, too. Like, there's nothing really wrong with it. Now, these last two, besides the Buddy Elf being my, my very first chase, these next two chases are my absolute favorite. Um, if I was to sell my whole set, um, there'd be some stuff that would stay. Obviously, my Back to the Future stuff would stay. Probably, I don't know if my Stranger Things... If I was going to sell everything, I'd probably sell all the Stranger Things. But, I would definitely probably keep these two pops in my collection. Uh, the first one is the Jack Torrance. Now, this is from The Shining. This is the chase of him where he looks like he's frozen. Man, it's such a great pop. I did buy that one outright on eBay. Paid around the same price that it's still going for right now. But that is such a great chase. I'm so happy with this one. It's in great shape. Yeah, I think this one would always stay in my set. Even if I was to sell my collection. That one would stay in here. And then, my all-time favorite chase that I have. I've said I have the Buddy. That's my favorite. One of my favorites because that was my very first one. That holds a special place in my heart. This one is from one of my favorite movies as a kid. And what's funny is thinking back on it, like the movie's rated R and the language is kind of bad and all the stuff that happens in it's kind of bad. So I'm really shocked my parents let me watch it as a kid. But I used to wear this movie out all the time. But it is Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn from Major League. Now, as soon as I saw that chase, I didn't care what it cost to get it. I was going to have it. So I did buy this one outright on eBay as well. So, But yeah, this is one that would never go anywhere in my set. This one, Buddy the Elf and Jack Torrance would always stay in my set no matter what. I know that. But guys, that's it for me. That's that's my uh, my chase challenge that 18 Games of Toys put on, put on for me. Um, I didn't show off all of them in my set. Um, I, I didn't want this video to be like 30 minutes long and me talking about each and every one of them. So I want to spare you that and just show off some of my favorite ones that I do have. Um, so as it comes down to this, I do need a challenge. I think two, three people. I'm just going to challenge two. Uh, I'm putting out a challenge for Quest of Pops. Britain over there, I want to see your chase set. And I'm going to throw out the other one to... Let's do Hidden Funko. Hidden Funko, I want to see your chase set. Um, two great guys in the community. Um... You know, if you have not checked out, they both have YouTube channels. Go check them out. Definitely, definitely. Go check out 18 Games and Toys. Um, and then check out all the other challenges they challenge. It's such a fun challenge. I'm glad that I got challenged to do it. But guys, that's all I have for you today. Mom, I love you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.